Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use and change the copy shortcut button settings of your printer DCP-T420W. Before we start, don't forget to power on your printer and connect the machine to your PC via USB cable or Wi-Fi. And this time, my printer machine is connected via USB cable. Also, make sure there is available paper with the correct size in the paper tray. And now, let's start. In your desktop, open the Brother Utilities app. Go to Tools and select Machine Settings. Here, log in using your printer's password. Take note that the machine's default password is on the back of the printer and mark PWD. And if it happens that you already changed the default password and forgot about it, you can reset your machine settings and watch my tutorial video on how to reset. So I'm going to type in my password and click login. Go to copy and select copy shortcut. You will see here the copy preset and color settings. Click the copy preset drop down button. We have six modes namely ID horizontal, vertical, two in one, continuous copy, best quality and fit to page. And in the color settings, you can choose either color or mono, then click submit. And for this video, I set the color settings to mono. And now let's try first the 2-in-1 ID horizontal preset. Let's begin by placing your ID face down near the lower right corner of the scanner glass as shown. Press copy shortcut and then the machine starts scanning one side of the identification card. After the machine has scanned the first side, the power LED blinks slowly. Turn over the identification card and press the copy shortcut to scan the other side. Now, we have a monocolor front and back horizontal photocopy of our ID. Next, let's try the 2-in-1 ID vertical photocopy preset. In the web-based management, change the copy preset to 2-in-1 ID vertical, then click Submit. Once submitted, place your ID face down near the lower center of the scanner glass as shown. Press Copy Shortcut and then the machine starts scanning one side of the identification card. After the machine has scanned the first side, the power LED blinks slowly. Turn over the identification card and press copy shortcut to scan the other side. Now, we have a monocolor front and back vertical photocopy of our ID. Let's proceed with 2-in-1 copy preset. Do the same procedure, go to the web-based management, then set the copy preset to 2-in-1 and submit. Get your document that you want to photocopy, then place it face down in the upper right corner of the scanner glass. Press copy shortcut once, and then the machine will start scanning and will photocopy the document. Once done, you will have two reduced copies in one page from your whole page printout side by side. Next, we have the continuous copy. This mode helps you to photocopy a maximum of 99 pages continuously without interruption. Just make sure there's enough paper in the paper tray. And if you want to try this, just change the copy preset just like what we did from the previous preset in the web-based management, then submit. Now let's try the best quality A4 to A5 copy preset. This copy preset pertains a quality and a reduced photocopy of the document. Let me show you. But first, don't forget to change the copy preset from the web-based management, then click Submit. Place a one whole page printout face down in the upper right corner of the scanner class. 
Press copy shortcut once and then the machine will start scanning and will photocopy the document. This may take a while so let's just wait. And there you have it! Your reduced photocopy should come out of the machine looking just like the way you want it. Check it to ensure it fits your needs. For our last copy preset, we have Fit to Page. This preset is like the counterpart of the previous one since this will enlarge your document. Again, Go to the web-based management and change the copy preset to fit the page. Then click Submit. Here, I'm using the front side of the sample ID and place it face down on the photocopy machine's glass surface. Press the copy shortcut once and then the machine will start scanning and will photocopy the document. And there we have it. Our machine created an enlarged copy from the small size ID or document. And that's it. Changing and using your copy shortcut button settings can make your printing task much more efficient. If you found this tutorial helpful, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more tips and tricks. Thanks for watching. Bye!